Okay, so this is where we left off. We have a snake and we have an apple at random positions and we can also collect the apples and of course every time when we collect an apple it will reappear on a random position in our screen. And in this video I'm going to add uh, a tail to the snake and also so every time when it collects an apple it, its tail, the snake's tail, will grow. So for that I'm going to back to game.lua and here I'm going to create a local variable and this will be the tail and it will be a table and go back to the first of all to the game draw function and I'm just going to add here some um, comments so draw the snake head it draws a snake's head snake's head this draws the apple so draw the apple and between these I'm going to add the snake's tail so first of all I'm going to set it color so allow allow not load but allow that graphics that set color set color and uh, tails color will be 0 0.7 on red uh, 0 0.35 on the green and 0 0.4 on blue and 1.0 on the alpha and now we need to loop through this tail table to actually draw all the tails for that I'm going to use a generic for loop so for uh, I don't need the key so I'm just going to add here an underscore so for key and value in i pairs of tail do also end the for loop before I forgot it so now I'm going to here uh, love here draw the rectangles not solve but love love that graphics that rectangle rectangle and the mode will be fill the X position will be value at index 1, so value index 1 times the size. The Y position will be value at index 2 times the size. Mm, size I can type today. Okay, so size is 30, so and value 1 and value 2 will be the values from the tail table. And uh, yes, the width of the rectangle will be just size, and the height of the rectangle will also be size. And, uh, and the Rx and the Ry, I'm going to give it 15 and 15. And I just realized that I can also change this to size and I'm going to copy this and replace this to size, size and size because these are all 30s. So now we can draw the tail, tails. And every time when I co um, collide with an apple, I'm going to add a new tail uh, table to this tail. Uh, 
I'm going to add a new table to this tail table. Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to do this here. Uh, when snake x equals apple x and snake y equals apple y. So table that insert to the tail tail table a new table and just zero and zero. So I'm just going to run it. And when I collect an apple, a new tail will just appear here on the upper left corner. And it is a rounded tail, so it it has our X and our Y, uh, 15 and 15. So now the next thing we need to do is just make the tail follow the head. Because now it's, it just always uh, creates a new tail in this position. Uh, so for that, before I set the snake x and the snake y, I'm going to create a new local variable here in the update uh, game update function, and it will be called old x, and old x will be equal to the snake x, and also local local old y, old y will be equal to snake y. So uh, remember to save the old uh, snake's old x and old y position before you update, because this is now, uh, after this we are updating the snake x, so this becomes a new position, and we need the old positions. So... Okay, here, after, after this if statement, I'm just going to add another if, and if tail length is bigger than zero, that means that we are already eaten an apple, or collected an apple, so here I'm going to create a for loop, a generic for loop, so I don't need the key, so I'm just going to add here an underscore and value for key and value in i pairs, i pairs of tail, tail, do, and end. And now here we need to swap the values, so I'm going to create a local x and a local y, and these will be equal to the value at 1 and the value at 2. And don't forget that in Lua uh, the indexing starts at 1, not at 0, uh, like, uh, other in, like Python or Java. So first we are going to save to a local variable the xy position from the tail and then I'm going to set the value at 1 at 1 and the value at 2 equal to old x and old y old y and here also going to set after uh, on the last line the old x and the old y equal to x and y. So this is just a basic swapping uh, logic or algorithm following the c equals a, a equals b and b equals c which swaps all these uh, values. So now the tail should follow the uh, snake, snake's head, so let's try it. 
Okay, we have one tail, two tails. And okay, three tails, and so on and so forth. And the fourth tail. Let's add uh, uh, text to our window uh, for the collected apples. So I'm going to set the text colors, so loaded graphics, that set color. And it will be pure white, so one, uh, one, one, and one. Okay. To actually draw a text on, on a, a screen, I'm just going to use the love.graphics.print uh, uh, function. And first, the string it should print, so uh, it will be the collected apples, collected apples, space and conca concatenate the, the tail length. Or where it is? Yes, tail length. Concatenate the tail length and also I'm just going to the documentation to take a look. Uh, so love that graphics and where is the print function? Love that graphics that print. So the exposition first is the text, which is will be the collected apples, the uh, exposition, the y position. So, oh, this is Visual Studio Code. So the X position will be 10, the Y position will be also 10. And don't forget the comma. And orientation in radiance, it will be zero. And scale factor. S X and S Y. So I'm going to scale it by 1.5. So 1.5 on X and also scale it 1.5 on Y. And uh, last arguments. Origin of set. I'm going to set it to zero. Origin of set on Y also zero. And shearing factor. Oh, so just zero, zero, zero. So four zeros at the end, zero, and this is the, so, four zeros, let me take a look, so we have scale x, origin x, origin y, key x and key y, so okay, so now we are having, so, uh, text here with collected apples which starts of course at zero and it is scaled up by 1.5 so now when I collide with an apple it should draw one now it's two okay three and so on and so forth 